Well guys, this is Casey's Rog, and in this is Video Game Hunting, episode 31, part 1. Ugh, just got out of work. It was a long day. Thank God tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> I can't wait. <sighs> but, I got the whole bag. <laughs> Look, I didn't even get all the crap off my arm. That one I did, but that one I still got a ton of. Dirt. <sighs> so yeah, today was very frustrating. I <laughs> I had a freaking truck driver come in for something super unrealistic. There was a um trailer. What the hell? This kid just in a work truck just you know how some dogs that pokes their head out? Well this kid just did that like where like his half his top torso was out of the window. So um Inside this trailer had what's called side scuff. It's for the bottom part of, in the inside of the trailer on the on the siding. Um, when the side scuffs get it's, what, this metal it's pretty much galvanized, and it, it when it gets twisted, it's pretty much useless. To fix it, I mean, you, it's the, it's best just tear it out and put new one in, because if you do try to fix it, it's gonna look like shit, and it's gonna take a buttload of time, because when it curls like that, it's like a spring. Trying to tuck straight now a spring and it's not meant to be well a spring is not meant to be straightened. So um the only way it was like if you put a ton of time in and it, it could have straightened you out. The problem is if it took a ton of time it would take a ton of time and Either a ton of rivets down each post, or uh, that then you had to put bolts. Oh, doing that, and it look would look like shit. So, and the, it was just unrealistic. It was not gonna work out. And of course, I get cut off. With the day I've been having today, of course, I get cut off by this Camaro. I actually need to get off of this road. Not exactly, I'm sure, at least, I'm not hit a video game store in the vintage stock that's real close to it. And tomorrow, I might go to better vintage stocks. Because I went to one last night, didn't see anything. And if I don't find anything, I might hold on to this trade. I'll hold out and see what they have, anything special. I might hold out until Saturday. I could either go hit up. I could go hit the. Toy Mall, Toy Store, or whatever. And, uh. 
thing about getting an expensive game with all these. If I don't see anything, I can run over there, but I'm not exactly sure what they're open till. If I can, I don't know. See, this game is $145. If I get like a huge, I'd be happy if I could take half of it off. But with all the I got in there, I doubt I would get that. I don't know though. Depends. But I'm tired. I'm really grumpy right now. That's one thing I miss getting out for is like traffic's not as bad. You can get around a little bit easier here. Uh, five, good God, traffic gets real fucking bad. When I take the side road, it doesn't really matter too much. Maybe until I get close to the house, but. Most of the travel back home on the side roads is affected by what time I leave. I'm sorry if I'm not really in my chipper mood. I'm just tired. It's, I'm pretty, I believe I went to bed about 10 ish. I'm really freaking tired. I did my thing with, uh. My, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. My, uh, live stream with all my pickups. I came in like the early part of the week. Usually I wait until like Sunday, but I had so much stuff to review. But, um, I would like to. I think one of the things I would like to do on the rifle off a few Super Nintendo production games. Probably like sometime on Saturday. That's what I would like to do. So 
to start going through some of these piles of games. And I might do the same thing, like, for the Sega Genesis. Just start rifling through some of these. Because um, I've been sitting on a huge, like, two big stacks of reproduction games. And when I say that, it's not like game. See, I did, really don't want to buy games that are actually... I like buying games that are not actually released. If there's a game that's actually released and it's just high priced, then I don't want the reproduction game because then it's like, oh, I got a space holder for the real thing. The only uh, exception is the Nintendo World Championship 1990. Oh, gosh. I am really pooped. Oh, gosh. But, that's the only one because it's so rare and, and it's worth tens of thousands of dollars. That I would, I'd probably more likely get hit by lightning than actually ever find that in the wild for like a cheap price. And if I do find one, I'm gonna be scared getting hit by lightning. <laughs> if I do find, if I get hit by lightning and survive, I'm gonna go put my money in the lottery so see if I can get rich. <laughs> but oh god damn I need some Pep me up stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. I got to be. I got to start drinking more health, uh, healthier. Game. Oh no, that's not. It's not even a freaking. Actually, game store. I just saw the game on. I was like, oh, then I looked at Nutrin. Like, I tried this one store over here. It's more like a freaking comic books and uh, card games. I was extremely disappointed. And maybe board games. You figure games? Hello, we're gonna, should we talk about video games too? Like there's one in, in the city. Uh, they have, have a bunch of, of the magic cards, Pokemon cards, whatever kind of cards. If you're into that, I, I, I mean, that's, I have no problem if someone likes it, but, um, what's wild is that it has Pokemon cards, I believe, or magic cards, I had a freaking whole, um, uh, like a starter kit or something, and, Just having it came across it sealed up, so I was trying to sell it. And then they're, they're like adding, like, oh, well, we came across this before and we have a hard time to sell it. Like, my like my cards was not good enough for these assholes. And then I look at their fucking case where they had game, video games. 
I could have said the exact same thing. Your video game selection is not good enough for me. It's like that one small little case of video games. I'm like, if you, if you have just this, why are you even doing video games? Like, no, I'm not gonna go there for you video games if you bar like barely have anything. Like, I went there twice in four years. Oh, gosh. Yeah, if I don't say anything good, I'll probably go to this toy store because, like I said, they have term Ninja Turtle Terminate Fighters. Very expensive game. And if I can get like a huge amount of it off. Talk about that. I really need to. Go through these and. Take the stickers and stuff off of it. And seal. These reseals. <laughs> Oh, gosh. That's okay. Take that one sticker off. That's okay. I gotta just unseal that, unseal that. That's interesting. Hey. Funny when I see these kids, they have blonde tops on the hair, and then bottom part is dark as hell. <laughs> like, you're not fooling anyone that you're blonde. Especially if you bleach your hair all over. No one's gonna actually believe you're that blonde. And I was used to be blonde when I was younger, like even all the way at high school. In even in high school, it, was, it would t fluctuate between blonde and brown. Like during the summer, it'd be blonde, but during the winter, it'd be brown. And it actually look close to my beard. There's specks of blonde still in my beard. But now I'm more brunette? I mean, I'm brown hair. Brown haired. But I feel like when you say brunette, that sounds like a woman. Oh, fuck, my head hurts. It's been hurting for over a week now. It didn't help today either. I was really pissed the fuck off today too. So I'm gonna fix these. And there's only two others I believe that I need to undo anyways. Like. Because, oh, it's funny, it has an old pawn shop sticker on it. At least get rid of this one with the vintage stuff. And the same thing with this one. I do not know what the hell that was. Guys. 
Burn me down. Okay, the rest of it looks good, so I'm going to run in, see if there's anything good, if not, we'll see, you know, I'll be back. Well, I just got a, not only the video game store, also, uh, got a the vintage stock. Vintage stock was pretty much a bust. Even though I swear during the freaking sale that Gunstar Hero was not there, but it's there again. So they probably intentionally took that out. But, uh, moved around a little bit. I'll show you. But at the game store, after, this is why this game store is freaking awesome. In the city, but um, saw so this. I had to have it to have a fifth one of these. This is the Atari album, and I uh, had a bunch of trade ins. And with uh, came out like 30 something bucks. I was fine with that, no big deal. Picked up a bunch of cheap. Super Famicom games. Pretty much Japanese Super Nintendo. Picked up Super Bomberman. This is some kind of Disney game. This one just looked interesting. It says Cosmo Game Gang the Puzzle. It says playable without reading. Uh, a baseball game. I think this is like probably those four bucks. All the Super Mario All Stars. I think this is um Super Volleyball. No, uh, no uh, dodgeball. And Sim City. So and with everything, with after trade in, it was like thirty bucks. For some reason, I was expecting like fifty bucks, but I was like, ooh. But I didn't want to hold these people up, especially uh, the owner knew exactly what I like, especially lately at. Japanese games. I don't know why, but they're just cool. Um, he's like, got a bunch of Famicom and Super Famicom games came in. Like, ooh. You know, I really don't have room for any more Famicom games. So, and I really don't know what I have. It's not like NES where I'm like, oh, Okay, I got this, and this, and this. I mean, I can guess, but then I can get, go there, and I get wrong. And I really don't have the room for any new uh, Famicom games. But I might have an idea. Uh, I might make room in the collection. I've seen people like take their collection and push the boxes and cases in and put the loose games in. So I might start doing that. I might. But I thought it was pretty cool coming across that. I really wanted to look around, but I was like, oh, you know what? I didn't want to hold them up. I'm not that a-hole. Coming in like 
30 minutes before closing and holds the store up from closing. Was awesome. They had the Japanese version, the Famicom, of Panic Restaurants, the game that I sold for 400. Now the game, because of the pandemic, the game has been going up and down between 400 and 600. So, but it's been over 600 and something now because mostly because of the pandemic drove the uh, the money up. It looks like Kev just sent me a message, and I think he said hi, baby. Like. What's funny talking about that? Um, one of the guys. I like to mess with someone every once in a while, just screw with them. I like this one dude. He's like, hey, um, you want to hang out one day? We go shoot pool. And he's like, I don't know. I don't hang out with dudes. So I guess the guy thinks I'm gay. I'm like, like dude, come on. And then later on, is this last week or so, uh, say, so, hey, you want to go bowling? <laughs> but I guess he really thinks I'm gay or something. Like, I'm like, and he's paranoid, guys. Like, uh, he's like, don't touch me. He's, and it's not just me, he says. I say to a ton of people. Good. But, um... Uh, I was like, dude, I was married for nine years. Well, eh, I guess seven years. But I've been, uh... Together with my wife... A long time. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this guy. But, yeah, this one woman was on her freaking phone, not watching. She was deep into her phone. <laughs> I mean, it happens to me. I hear, doo -doo. And like, okay, I can't move. I mean, I try not to, but a lot of times, if it was me, I do this. I'm like sitting, someone sits, and I see great. I'm like, all right, and then honk honk because I don't want to be a dick. Wait, like because you didn't move the exact moment it turned green. But yeah, the guy thinks, I'm kind of like, dude, not only have I been married for so, this long, I also was dating this woman for two and a half years, too. Like, like plus, if I was gay, <laughs> I would like to tell him, it's like, if I was gay, you're definitely not the first choice I would choose. Because a grumpy old man, <laughs> like, I guarantee you, you wouldn't be my first choice if I was gay. So, but I'm like, it's just sometimes if I know someone's like, you know, they want to mess with me a little bit, that, that's what I do. Like, at my old job, I was really comfortable. I'd be like, hey, just to fuck with them. I'm not to that point yet. Comfortable to do that. You just fuck with them, do that. But, goodness gracious, traffic's horrible, bro. But, 
about this one. <laughs> Dude, uh, he has the potential to say something wrong, and honestly, um, he said one thing wrong that, uh, and with multiple of everything, that was the thing that I just lost it. I had to cool down. A lot of times if someone gets on my nerves or being an asshole, I just walk away. I'm like, I don't need to deal with this bullshit. I mean, I can handle criticism or advice, but when I feel I can't return, not the criticism, but if I'm like, hey, what do you think about this or that? I'm like, They just straight up don't want to listen to me. I'm like, it's frustrating because I'm like, I feel like you guys don't trust me. Like, I tell my boss, I was like, dude, I've been doing this shit for closing in on 13 years. It's not like I'm some rookie. I've been doing this since 08. So I'm like, come on. But it was a bunch of things going on. I mean, not been too happy lately. I mean, I like what I do. And it's not a bad place to work for. And I understand. I only get frustrated at any job. I hadn't been to one place and, like, hadn't got a little frustrated. But, I'm starting to feel like I'm now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to head and finish this video and upload it. And see what Kev wants. <laughs> he probably wants to play Fortnite or something. Right now, I'm tired. I need to eat. I need food. I need to relax. I need cool down time. Maybe watch some AEW. Because I did not get a chance to watch it last night. Because I got home. Uh, did my video, or a stream, uh, play Fortnite with Kev, and, well, in between, I ate, then played Fortnite with Kev, and I pretty much called it at night, I was tired, I did one. I think I went to bed about 10 ish and I was exhausted already, like I am right now. But, yeah, so you guys have a good night. I'm gonna go ahead and um, upload this. So, you guys have a good night.